इन ए सिंपल नेशनल इनकम मॉडल वाई इक्वल टू सी प्लस आई नॉट प्लस जी नॉट वेर एन इज नेशनल इनकम सी इज कंजम्पन एक्सपेन्डिचर आई नॉट इज ऑटोनोमस इन्वेस्टमेंट जी नॉट इज ऑटोनोमस गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेन्डिचर सी इक्वल टू अल्फा प्लस बीटा इंटू वाई माइनस टी वेर बीटा लाइज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन एंड टी इज टैक्सेस टी इक्वल टू डेल्टा वाई डेल्टा लाइज बिटवीन जीरो एंड वन अब टेन इक्विलिब्रियम नेशनल इनकम कंजम्पन एंड टैक्सेस दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू सोल्व this national income model since these three equations is a system of equations with variable y c and t or this is a simultaneous equation system with variable y c and t we rewrite the first equation as y minus c equal to i not plus z not here c is written in the left hand part of the equation in second equation after multiplying beta into y minus t we get beta y minus beta t and writing them in the left hand side we write this equation as minus beta y plus c plus beta t equal to alpha the third equation is written as minus delta y plus t equal to 0 Now in first equation the coefficient of y is 1 and the coefficient of minus c is minus 1 and the coefficient of t is 0 because there is no t and the constant part is equal to i not plus g not In second equation coefficient of y is minus beta and coefficient of c is 1 and coefficient of t is beta and here the constant part is alpha and in third equation the coefficient of y is minus delta and the coefficient of c is 0 because there is no c and the coefficient of t is 1 and the constant term is 0 now this is the coefficient matrix multiplied by the variable matrix that is matrix of y c and t equal to matrix of constant terms that is i not plus z not alpha n 0 using cramer's rule we get y bar equal to determinant of i not plus z not minus 1 0 alpha 1 beta 0 0 1 divided by determinant value of this coefficient matrix that is determinant of 1 minus 1 0 minus beta 1 beta minus delta 0 1 the numerator determinant is obtained by replacing the first column of the coefficient matrix by the column of constant term because y is the first variable now the determinant value of denominator determinant is 1 into 1 minus 0 minus minus 1 into minus beta minus minus delta into beta plus 0 because 
it is 0, the determinant value of numerator determinant is i naught plus z naught into 1 minus 0 minus minus 1 into alpha minus 0 plus 0 because it is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1 that is 1 multiplied by 1 minus minus 1 multiplied by minus beta minus minus plus delta beta plus 0 and in numerator we get 1 minus 0 that is 1 multiplied by i naught g naught so i naught plus g naught minus this minus 1 alpha because alpha minus 0 is alpha plus 0 and after simplification we get this that is i naught plus g naught plus alpha divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta. Now, C bar is equal to determinant of 1 i naught plus g naught 0 minus beta alpha beta minus delta 0 1. So, this is the determinant of the coefficient matrix after replacing the second column by the constant uh, constant term because c is the second variable divided by the determinant value of this coefficient matrix so determinant value of this coefficient matrix is 1 minus 1 minus delta beta and the determinant value of numerator is 1 into alpha minus 0 minus i naught plus g naught into minus beta plus sorry minus minus plus plus delta beta plus 0 after simplification we get this that is alpha minus i naught plus g naught into minus 1 minus delta into beta divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta and finally c bar is equal to alpha plus beta into 1 minus delta into i naught plus c naught divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta and t bar is equal to determinant of 1 minus 1 i naught plus z naught minus beta 1 alpha minus delta 0 0 divided by the determinant of coefficient matrix the numerator determinant is a determinant of coefficient matrix after replacing the third column by the constant term because t is the third value third variable of this equation system or of this matrix equation. The determinant value of the denominator is the same and the determinant value of the numerator is 1 into 0 minus 0 minus minus 1 into 0 minus plus alpha delta plus i naught plus g naught into 0 minus 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 plus delta and after simplification we get the value of t bar equal to delta into i naught plus g naught plus alpha divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta this is how we solve this national income model and after solving this national income model we get the equilibrium national income 
equal to i naught plus z naught plus alpha divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta equilibrium consumption c bar equal to alpha plus beta into 1 minus delta into i naught plus z naught divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta and equilibrium taxes t bar equal to delta into i naught plus z naught plus alpha divided by 1 minus 1 minus delta into beta. Thank you.